It's time for College Hoops 2K8. The Texas A&M Aggies battle the Florida Gators. This should be a whale of a game. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the O'Connell Center. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What do you think, Bill? I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Blackshear is one of the strongest power forwards in the country. He's a difficult matchup for other power forwards as his combination of size and speed are very difficult to stop. Number 32 is also a capable power forward. He's a magician with the basketball. He can really get creative with the ball in his hands. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Florida controls the opening tip and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Swings it to the left wing. Number two. Puts it up. The three-pointer hit by Lewis. And they now go up by three. Dishes it to the wing. Miller catches it on the free throw line. Throws it up. Knocks it down from 11 feet. They now trail by one. Number two passes it up court. Blackshear has it right block. No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. Number 32 inbounds the ball. Mitchell bounces it to the right side. He got a step on the D and worked it inside beautifully. What else can you say about Florida, Bill? Back-to-back -back champions. It's so hard to go back-to-back -back with all the parity in today's game, but Florida had that special group that lifted them to their second championship. Number two. Feeds it to the right wing. Lewis from about 19 feet. Miller snatches the rebound. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Well, just before the game, I talked to the Gators coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team speed, and he wants to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing how fast this game can be played. Guys? Thanks, Tracy. The big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Lewis has it right wing. Passes to the free throw line. Lock. Number 32 corrals the miss inside. They did just enough to force him to alter his shot. What solid D. Catches it, right wing. Number one, dishes to the high post. Unloads. They're in the lead thanks to the basket by Chandler. They take a two-point lead. Blackshear inbounds the ball. Right around seven minutes left in the half. Passes for a side. Number two. Lock puts it up. Cannot stop the drop. Number one gets it high post. 
From 17 feet out, the bank shot didn't fall by Chandler. But they're still out in front by two. Pass outright. Locked. Johnson dumps it down low. Passes back to the wing. Number two takes the shot right in the bottom of the bucket. He's got two. Miller inbounds the ball. The Aggies take their first time out of the game. Number one catches it high post. Chandler gets it to fall. They're ahead nine to seven. About five and a half minutes left in the half. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Passes right side. Lewis backs in, dumps it off. Blackshear gets it right wing. With the shot. Three-pointer by Lewis. They lead by one. Number 35 inbounds the ball. Passes it to the high post. Number one fires from the wing. Hits it. And they're now out in front by one. The Gators had been seeded quite high in the past, but it wasn't until 2006 that they lived up to expectations by winning it all. And he makes the first. Gets the second to fall as well. Number 35 inbounds the ball. Swings it to the right wing. Number 35 gets it on the free throw line. That one was drilled by Chandler. They now lead by one. Just over four minutes left in the half. Lewis, easy look. Full net. He's got 10. Pass to the elbow. Raises up. Buried easily by number one. They're in front, 15 to 14. Lover at the controls. Pokes three, but it's tracked down by Florida. Number two crosses it over. Blackshear drops in the floater. They lead by one. Vaughn inbounds the ball. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are making substitutions. Mitchell dishes to the left. Far side. Spins. Just a great matchup we've got here. Neither team can score any knockout blows. Just over three minutes left in the half. Number two pulls the trigger. It's in for three. They're now out in front by two. It's deflected. 
but it's recovered by Miller. Beats it to the wing from deep. All net on the shot by Jackson. They now lead by one. 2.48 left in the first half. Leads him with the pass. Johnson takes it up. Good with the fadeaway. He's got four. Gordon passes it to the wing. Warren has it on the strike from 18 feet away. The shot was banked in by Gordon. They're up 22 to 21. Johnson inbounds the ball. Number two brings it up. Dumps it down low. Lock. Payne dishes to the left side. Number 12. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vernon. He can't come away with a three-point play. Skips it to the left wing. Miller catches it on the strike. Gordon, open look, connects. They lead by one. Johnson inbounds the ball. 143 left in the first half. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Johnson has it on the free throw line. Shoots. The 18-footer on the money by Locke. They're now up by one. It looks like they're playing men to Gordon beats it to the right. Miller grabs the rock. Gordon, that offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Dishes it to the wing. Backs him down. Number one. Shoots it. Hits it from the low block. They now lead by one. 50 seconds left in the first half. Blackshear gets it on the free throw line. Collected inside by number 12. Number 12. Didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. Swing pass. Right wing. Lock. Knocks it loose. But it's recovered by Lock. Has it high post. For three. Pulled in by number one. Gordon, it'll count if it goes. We'll head into the break with the score, 26 to 25. What do you think of the first half, Bill? Burn conditioning can be so important in a game like this. This kind of pace will really take its toll on you late. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Chandler has been lights out from the floor, Vern. It must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through, and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Tremendous effort from our player of the half.
Number one inbounds it to start the second half. Mitchell passes to the right. Jackson swings it to the corner. Mitchell on the money. He's got three. Lewis catches it out left. Dish high post. Bold pass. Intercepted. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Lewis. Gets it on the strike. Right wing. Launches one from beyond the arc. The shot was knocked down by Lewis. He's three for four from three-point range. The Aggies still hold a narrow lead. Didn't watch his feet and steps on the line. We're going the other way. He lost track of where he was, Vern. That's just not heads-up basketball. Number two. Number two catches it, top of the key. Lewis. Only a few seconds left in the shot clock. Number two gets the rebound. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Lewis dishes it cross court. Corner. Locke puts it up. Misses the three-pointer. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Miller leads him in. The beautiful pass led straight to the layup by Mitchell. He's shooting 100% for the game. Lewis inbounds the ball. They're set up in man -man. Number two catches it far side. Spike down. What a rejection. Swatted out of here quicker than it came in. That'll make the highlight reel. Feeds outright. Mitchell. Deflects the pass. And it's picked up by Florida. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Has it right wing. Lewis passes it to the free throw line. Takes a three. Grabbed by Miller. That's his third rebound of the contest. He'll want another shot with that much space. He knows he can make it. Number one goes up. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Getting set to inbound the ball. The Texas A&M coach made some changes that could affect their chemistry a little bit. I don't think these guys have played together very often. Dishes to the high post. Blackshear. Terry Blackshear. Miller inbounds the ball. Under six minutes left in the second half.
dumps it inside. Miller, superb rejection. Fires. Johnson pulls it in. They still have a seven-point lead. Blackshear gets it down low. Backs down. Behind the arc. Yanked down inside by Johnson. Great offensive rebound. He worked so hard to establish position. Last basket was made by Blackshear. Nice touch. That's such a smooth move to the rack, Vern. Gordon with the ball. Chandler. Left wing. Chandler releases. Knocks down the trifecta. Ten points and he's the top scorer for his team. Lewis inbounds the ball. Both teams will make some substitutions. Payne skips it to the baseline. Passes to the elbow from the corner. Drained by Lewis. They cut it to six. Just over four minutes left in the second half. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Chandler. Right wing. Dishes it to the high post. Mitchell. Gets the shooter's roll off the front of the rim. He's six for six for the game. Swing pass, right wing. Number 33. Left wing. Lewis releases. Trifecta. 18 points and he's the top scorer. Number 32 inbounds the ball. 256 left in the game. Swings it to the right wing. Dishes left wing. Number one tosses it up. Answers right back with his own three. They're in front, 45 to 37. The Gators are making a few lineup changes. Blackshear. Number two passes it to the wing. To the stripe. Dishes to the elbow. The offensive board gathered by Blackshear. Mitchell brings it up the floor. Number one, passes it back to the left wing. Mitchell has it left wing. Last shot missed from three-point range. 
Miller with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. Sinks the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. didn't get to him one bit close game or not he's as cool as could be Blackshear inbounds the ball number two way up court Tip. the Gators were the last ones to touch it and they'll turn it over number 12 is needed out on the floor he didn't get much of a rest the Aggies with a chance for a double-digit lead. Pass right side from the wing. Banked in by number one. Payne is back in the game after a short rest. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Florida. Number 12 is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Miller inbounds the ball. Chandler. Left wing. Beats it to the high post. Chandler. Number one has it left wing. That last play, no good. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I wouldn't let him have too many more of those. He can light you up in a hurry. Misfired on that last three by number two. The Aggies have this game pretty much in the bag. The D wasn't too worried about that one gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Mitchell from long range. Number 12 hauls it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. Let's it go. The three was off target by Lewis. Miller. That's all for this one. Texas A&M defeats the Gators 49 to 39. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Aggies of Texas A&M used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.